Here's the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, December 6, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We've got a new moon coming up on Tuesday the 12th. Boy, that's almost halfway through the month. Christmas is coming. A uh, bunch of sunspots are aiming directly at Earth right now, and there's been sightings of aurora uh, all over the Earth. So this is a very active time for space weather. Uh, take a look at drought. This is last week's, and as of Wednesday, early afternoon, they still hadn't given us the updated map, so I don't have anything new to show. Sorry. Uh, smoke pretty much clear. There's a little bit of something down in Arizona, some uh, smoke sources in the deep south, but uh, in western Canada, but not much going on. Take a look at the snow pack animation. Of course, we were way below five uh, percent of normal and scraping along there. And then just here in the last week, we had a lot of uh, western slope and high mountain snows. I think I heard. 42 inches in rabbit ears pass, something like that. <clears throat> so, yeah, we didn't get much of anything but wind on the lower elevations, but the Rockies looked coated in uh, uh, cloud, and it just did snow a lot up there. That does take us up to 85% of normal. Again, at this time of the season, it's, it's easy to catch up. Up here, not so much. Uh, and there's the liquid equivalent of what fell. We have one inch amounts, even two inch amounts of precipitation up in this area. For convection, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday is a little bit in eastern Oklahoma and Arkansas, Missouri. Looking at the surface map for Wednesday, Thursday, the snow is coming into the northeast, uh, sorry, northwest mountains. And then we have some snow and heavy snow possible. Um, this is fading out quickly. You'll see just in one day that this has changed a lot. So from 44 down to 42 is our normal high. So being close to 60 was pretty crazy over the last couple of days. 18 to 17 is our normal low. And I think that's about the lowest our normal low goes. I will have to look ahead a month and see if it dips a little bit more. Memory serves, it's, that could be it. Uh, here's our precipitation for Friday and a scattering of something mid-week next week that certainly isn't coming in. But you can see the temperatures go down and hang much more in the normal area for the week ahead. Uh, here's very dry air across New Mexico and Utah and southern Colorado. But you can see some moisture is starting to come in from the Pacific over the top. So Friday noon, we have this trough approaching. We have a band of snow coming through, but it's kind of diminishing as it goes. So let's take a look at some some of the maps. Not all of these are going to be very useful, but there goes the Friday. There was the Friday dig through. Just kind of comes together really quickly, and it's out. So it's just hard to get moisture in. Not a very long period of upslope at all. Here we have kind of northwest flow going over the region. Something digs down in the deep south, goes to Sonora and northern Mexico, ridge going over, so we could warm up then. And another one coming in on the 14th, 15th. And then a ridge comes right back after. But you can see things are getting more active, so that, that's encouraging. Here's the tremendously above normal temperatures, um, especially on the eastern side of the Continental Divide. A little bit of snowpack making it cold up there. And Friday, a bit of a cold front comes down. It's spreading down into the Gulf of Mexico, across Texas. There's our new snow making colder temperatures, but we warm up until another cold front comes in on the 12th. Kind of lingers on the eastern side of the mountains and then moves away. So for the 14th, 15th, kind of looking for that next storm, but I don't see it necessarily there. All right, I won't, won't show much of this, but there is this plume of moisture coming over the top we saw in the satellite image. And for Friday, there's some moisture just around momentarily. You can see it's trying to get pulled in, but the load just moves away, and it's all replaced by dry air. Uh, dew points of the surface, very low. Going to Thursday, Friday, you see it moisten up a little bit. There's some 20s coming in. That's a little better. And then 
super dry air comes in and everything is done on Saturday. <laughs> so let's take a look out for the full run of this to see what the storms look like. Going into Friday, there's a the snow in the northwest, a little band comes through, a little period of upslope, it goes into southern Colorado and it's away. There's some severe weather from it out there. There's a little more upslope or mountain snows. And into Monday, Tuesday, you can see the colder settling down. Reds are, are blues there. Blues are a little freezing. The 14th, 15th, here comes the system, but what's it going to do? Not much. So, this is a map made yesterday and hasn't been updated yet today at weather 5280. The forecasters there are fantastic. Um, you can see they have this. One, two, three, third shading, it's about two to three inches uh, along I-25, right west of Boulder. You jump to the four to six area, but Boulder's in the three to four area. This looks like it's been cut uh, kind of by half today. I'm kind of expecting them to update this, but we'll see. Because uh, here's what the next three days looks like on the GFS. Here's a, basically a coating of snow up to maybe one inch in Longmont. And then maybe two, three inches on Boulder. A little heavier in the foothills and going down west side Denver, um, the Palmer Divide, and above Colorado Springs. But yeah, it's looking like not much. In fact, north of Fort Collins, no snow at all. And if you look at the North American model, it's zero all the way down to Boulder. And there's a little coating there, a little bit out by Lyman. Very different map, uh, but very little snow. So the next five days, might get a little bit of moisture. Next five days, a little bit of snow. Next 10 days, not much changes. It's very much the same map, a little more snow in the mountains. So 50s and 60s going to Thursday, drops to uh, freezing or close to freezing. Friday does stay above freezing in the daytime temperatures on Saturday, then up to 40s and 30s. That little chance of something Tuesday, but <laughs> it doesn't look like much either. I forgot to do the December outlook last week, so here is what the uh, Weather Service is saying that most of the nation has above normal chances of above normal temperatures. They, this is a weird way to communicate stuff. Of equal chances of above or below normal precipitation, far away to the northwest and southeast, uh, could be wet. So check out Longmont Leader for frequent weather updates. I'll put the snowfall roundup there for this Friday storm. I was really hoping yesterday we had totals 8 inches, 10 inches around Longmont in some of the models. The GFS never jumped on that, and neither did the weather underground model. But some are going crazy, including the NAM, which normally doesn't. And NAM has gone from 6 to 8 inches to zero. So ah, it's whiplash. So this is Chief Meteorologist John Hensworth urging you to keep looking up.